as well, let's just take a quick run through the positioning data out last week. We saw the dollar third week getting trimmed by $3.1 billion. On an aggregate, the euro net long increased by around 13.3k contracts and GBP net short was cut by about 6.2k contracts and JPY net short was trimmed by about 5k. The main events this week, we've got the ECB meeting on Thursday um, and it's going to be quite an important one. Uh, the market's expecting uh, APP to be announced to conclude very early in quarter three. It could even be the 1st of July and a July rate hike to follow. Um, we also will receive the economic projections and it's going to be important to see whether that inflation forecast is above 2% for the end of their forecast period, so late 2024. Um, the BTB bond spread hit 214 basis points last week. That's the highest since 2010, so there's this risk of fragmentation. Will we hear a bit more about that? I definitely think going into this meeting, though, risks are tilted to the hawkish side. The market certainly isn't priced for a rate hike in June. Could we see a shock hike? It's quite unlikely, but it is still a risk and a 50 basis point move in July. Um, we got US CPR out on Friday and the market's expecting around 8.3% year on year. We've also heard that Boris Johnson will be facing a no confidence vote this evening. 180 MPs would have to vote against him um, for him to be removed. Pound so far is actually up on the day. Um, so that's an interesting one. Uh, I think, you know, obviously no risk if there's just a transition of smooth policy. US dollar JP, the charts that are on my uh, radar at the moment, US dollar JPY back above 130 as US 10 year yield surged last week. Aussie dollar, US dollar found some resistance against the 200 day SMA. It's found a bit of support now at around 0.72, that round number. That's an interesting one with the RBA meeting tomorrow. Uh, markets expecting a 40 basis point move. And then lastly, Euro GBP got up quite close to that 0.86 key resistance area. It's come down a bit now, but we'll have to see how that develops over the next couple of days, especially with that ECB meeting.